Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon here with a weekly update video for you guys. Uh, before we get into the rest of the video, though, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your support is really appreciated. Don't forget to smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. And let's do some announcements first before we get into this week's event. So, of course, uh, Entry Exam is coming around the corner with a new girl, Hermes. Uh, remember, Entry Exam is not a direct correlation of PvP. You can get some justification out of it, but it's not going to be the same as us pulling on Capsule Week, getting her to LB5, and actually testing her in game. So, wait for that. Uh, this is not Chinese New Year, so it's best to maybe wait for that one. It might be a better girl. Don't know how it's going to play out for sure, but we will test and see how this works for you guys. Um, stream for this week for Lovely's Journey and talk about Hermes is going to be Saturday at 9 a.m. U.S. Central Time. So two days from now, about 49 hours from now, ladies and gentlemen. Stop by for that. Love to see you guys there. And with that being said, let's get into today's weekly events. So we got a new Diana skin. It's lovely. I like it. It's great. She got a nice... Uh, I don't know if it's called fur coat, but fluffy jacket coat. I don't know what women call those things. So if you know what it's called, put it in the bottom. But hey, it looks warm and toasty. I love to join her under it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's go on. All right. So uh, event time is going to be from the 14th to the 20th. So for me, that's the 13th to the 19th. If you're a day behind, remember you're a day behind, ladies and gentlemen. The other rewards are going to be four wheels, 150 gems, and five fishing rods. First up, we have Lovely's Journey. So... If you're new to the game, Lovely up there, which is Capsule Girl's pet, by the way, uh, she goes around the board, so she goes starts here, and she goes from left to right, down, all the way around. Uh, you use the normal wheels, which are the silver ones, so you go around the board, you just spin it, whatever it lands on, you get. If you get the advanced wheel, which is at the bottom right corner of your game board, uh, you land on that, usually what you want to do is use an advanced wheel to land back on the advanced wheel. Excuse me. Get out of the boardy. Ugh. You use the advanced wheel to land on it to get a free spin every time. So essentially, it's a free move. Remember, if you land on the whirlpool, which is this whirlpool looking water thingy here on the right, that will cut your moves in half. So do not use your advanced wheel when you land on that because you will move half the spaces on the advanced wheel. Yes. Make sure you don't do that. I've done it plenty of times, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty of times I've been dumb. So don't do that. Don't make the mistakes I do. Um, there is also a couch conch whatever you call it or call it shell thingy uh it gives you cards when you land on it you flip one over it either gives you good or bad reward essentially so and then of course the resources and the corals which you need to either land on or go past to collect get, to get rewards they go from level one to two to level three level three is max so instead of three corals it'll be five these the other resources just get upgraded as you land on them and this just tells you what each one is uh, the different resources you can max. And of course, then we have the pearls. This is the pearl shop. As you land on the pearls, you collect them. You can get rewards for doing this. And um, through right now, still, servant crystals is the way to go getting stuff. Uh, because alt core, getting it, your alt core as high as possible on your servant is actually really extremely important because it does matter. Yes, it does matter. So you don't have to, but I recommend getting servant crystals first. And then after that, if you have more. Uh, pearls to grab other stuff. You can grab whatever you need your heart desire. As far as the girls go, if you have questions, Monica's PvP is probably one of the best girls we have in PvP. Diana's great for tests. Amazing in tests, actually, I should say. Amazing in Sanctuary for damage. You can use her there. Frexy helps out in practical work. She's PvE support, so if you need help in that, on modes with uh, high armor, uh, if they have dodge or other attributes she affects, she's good to grab on that. Especially. Uh, there's just your rewards for you, what you get. We do have Yuma Tea Party back, so the the kitty cookies is what I call them. Kitty cookies is back. So the more rounds, the more you complete on here, the more you have to use on the Yuma Tea Party event. And of course, you can buy riders, which will cost you 150 gems, 30 max, so that's 4,500 gems. Uh, in total, for free to play, you get 78 wheels, whether that's from logging in every day, collecting your rewards, and... Uh, day the rewards, I should say, and buying gems with this. And, of course, we'll get to it in a second. Exclusive tasks also give it out. But just give us one second when we find that on the here. Seaside fishing, this is where you get fishing rods. You get one fishing rod obtained for every time you spin the wheel on a uh, Lovely's Journey, which is great. And of course, you can buy it from packs. And you get five daily for logging in. So, uh, I guess at least 78, 40, no, 
15 to do 10 times fishing because it takes five fishing rods to fish once. So you might make it to 15 here for you to play. Or 20. Nah, probably just 15, to tell you the truth. Daily daily um logins is five, so it's what? Seven fishing. You might get to uh 20. I know it's not much, but hey, take what you can get, right? These are the rest of rewards, of course. At 100 is the antique box, which you're really trying to get. And if you want the um no chime, you can get it at 150. Entrance exam. This is where we take new girls, old and new, and if you're not really, if you're kind of new to the game or you're free to play light and you don't have the girls and you want to mess around with them and have fun, it's great because there's no real rankings for rewards, so that's good. So you can just have fun with this and try to at least get to S tier. So that way you can get as much rewards as possible. If you're going to spend anything light on this week, I, I encourage you to spend on admission prep, which is the reward that goes with entrance exam. It gets tons of capsules that you can save up for hoarding to use on a girl that you really want to use on. Uh, as far as the rest of this on how this works, I will make a separate video tomorrow morning on this, just covering this. That way you guys can get help on it. And it's not too late. That way use it to help you. But we will cover that tomorrow morning. And these are the uh, tasks you need to take to complete it. And of course, this is the rewards you get. Left side is free, by the way, and right side will be the admission prep which you buy, which is $20, which is right here. Of course, we get a nice little avatar with it, which is great. I liked when they started doing this, which was awesome. Um, I think Blair right now, Blair's avatar, still my favorite, um, to tell you the truth. And these are the rewards you get. Um, also remember, these little tickets you get here, everybody asks every single time this comes up, because people knew, you know, it's okay. Um, remember, you can click on it. It will tell you when you can use it also, but you can only use them on Capsule Week events, which are not this week, but next week. And you have to use them. If you do not use them, they will go away. Remember that, okay? Exclusive tasks. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is where you need to finish stuff right here, where you need four-star girls, girls and a five-star girl to grab a girl from exclusive tasks. I know that if it was trash... Linky is important, NGIF, which is Chang's favorite, by the way. Um, not really that great, but she is she's cute. And then, of course, Valera. Uh, you need to finish these to get the wheels. It used to be back in the day, exclusive tasks were utter trash. You usually didn't grab them, but now we have wheels in them. They're important, so make sure you grab them, ladies and gentlemen. Grab them what you can. The Angel and Demon are not worth it. I am sorry. Please don't do this. It is not worth it. If it was Gwen and Bridget and Nia, the newer girl, or Angelica or Frexa, yeah, we would say go ahead and grab one if you had the resources. Even then, it's kind of you shouldn't be doing it. You should be using your gems and gold on other stuff. But, um, yeah, please don't do this. Please don't do this. Me, let me say this again. Please don't do it. Next up, we have Yuma Tea Party. This is just pretty much where we have uh, the rewards for getting the kitty cookies. And then, unlike other ones, this event, you only have to to purchase one in each tier to unlock the next tier. It's not like you have to buy each one to unlock the next tier, which I hate it when they do that so much. But you could just buy, let's say, 10 capsules, right? Then you unlock the next one. And usually I do the cheapest one, go 500 to get to the next. And then depending on what I really need, I might do the cheap one and get elite badges, but you can do that. It's up to you, whichever one you want to do. And then from there, you're trying to get to the last two. So push on that as much as you can. If you can, usually, you know, unless you're not, if you're not doing uh, that many lovelies journey, you're not going to get that far. Of course, we have it on capsule week too. So if you're not pulling on capsule week, you're probably not going to get very far on this, but you know, it is what it is. And of course you can get this kitty cookies from lovelies journey, capsule points in it, which is next week, packs, and then idle loot. Yes, it will drop in the idle loot in the campaign. So like that, see how far you get. And then, of course, the event is for 15 days. The last day is only to collect rewards. You will not get rewards from the idle loot area. Red Riding Hood's gift. This used to be better whenever they had the uh, ruins and other stuff collected together. But if you want seven days of ruins, which is great, you can get it there at $20. That's awesome to buy. I don't know how much of the resources in here, so that could be debatable on how much you get out of it, if it's good or not. But there's other ways to get um, chisels and other stuff in the game. You have to spend for that. Um, <coughs> as far as the packs go, if you are kind of a medium spender, Lovely's Elite Spy is the way to go this week. Of course, I don't know what's in the normal faction box. I don't even know what I need out of it. But Monica's probably in there. It'd be great to grab. Diana for Tess. Sivni to help out with PvE damage, stuff like that. 
Linky's kind of easy to get, so but you do need Linky. Please don't feed a Linky away. Here's the rest of the packs to buy. The only difference this time is we have fishing rods and kitty cookies with it. And a special gift pack is actually really good. So if you're going to buy a $71, make sure you buy this one first. And then you can get whatever else you want if you're getting a $70 one. And of course, the $49 deals are limited too. So if you're a light spender this week, either you get the admission prep or you can get your 888 gems packs, which are great for you guys to buy. Great value. If you can get both of them, get both of them. Do that. And of course, we have the skin pack, which I collect skins. So if you collect skins... There you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's right there, as always. That is all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will see you next time, or hopefully Saturday morning in the stream. With that being said, stay safe out there. It's crazy world. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.